Mr. Brooks, you're here in a very unique situation because you were sentenced and at the time you were on bond, your bond was that you had to be on a tether and technically until you turned your tether in, you were still on bond. Instead of turning your tether in, you cut your tether off. So... I didn't. Have you had a chance to, to Mr. Lebo about that? No. Yes. Once I once I got sentenced from you, I, I I thought I could take it off, and I couldn't, so I never cut it off. And they came to the house. My my uh, Brian uh, Levitt called me and said, "You can't take it off. You got to come up here." They came to the house, and they took me to jail. <laughs> And once they took me to jail, they came over to, I spent the night in jail. They came over there and then they cut it off. And then they say, you might be charged $150 because it's like when I tried to take it off. But I, I never took it off and just left the house. I thought once you sentenced me that this is over with because Honorable Judge Simpson had me on the uh, tether violation and he gave me my bond back and he said just make sure you make it to uh miss washington's your sentence date when he put the tether back on me he said make sure you make you make it and i made it there and when you sentenced me my understanding i was thinking like oh it's over with but it's not because they had to take it off it was never taken off it was on my leg but i did try to take it off and i went to jail for it so you cut it, it? Was it was it was bothering my leg my doctors was telling me that it it it, it does something with my disorder because the tether that they put on it used to be on my left leg and they took it off then they put it on the right but the doctor said that with my blood disorder it it, 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 it it's like interacts with it you Right, and it was causing my feet to be numb at times. So that's why I was trying to get it off. And, you know, I got a rude awakening. They, they came and took me to jail, but I never just took it off, I, you know. Did you cut it, sir? Uh, Yeah, I was trying to, trying to cut it. Ms. McDuffie, do you have a position on this? Your Honor, um... Well, um, yes, my understanding is that it's, it's basically a temper event for the attempt to cut it. I think he was asked specifically if he cut it off, but he he was unsuccessful. So it's, it's the same, you know, in terms of what the violation would be, it's, it's going to be the same effect. Um, and the question that I would have um, is that we discussed it at the last hearing but there was so much back and forth about the issue with the apology letter and everything else that I didn't I didn't have a clear note on where it it left off. Um, I know that he should know better than to take it off himself. So I don't think that he ever believed that he could just do it on his own because that shouldn't be an option with the tether. Um, so I don't think there was a misunderstanding about that. But my notes just didn't leave off with um, after the request what actually was supposed to happen. So. Yeah. Mr. Brooks, um, please. And so yeah. the, the, the question that also came up when he was arraigned on a violation was since he was not sentenced to probation, reporting or non-reporting, what is, um, as you've mentioned, you know, he technically he was still on bond at the time. So, so which thing, what is violated and what was, you know, what's the consequence for that? So your honor, I'll leave it to the court. I know that he was, I, I he was ordered to do community service, I believe. Already, was okay. forty hours. Okay, and so three hundred twenty-five dollars in fines and costs. So, Your Honor, if I don't object, if the court mm -hmm. um, finds it sufficient to maybe add to that somehow, I'll make a sort of unrelated request to Mr. Brooks, just for the sake of the court. If it's the Honorable Judge Simpson, then I don't think it should be Miss Washington. So maybe some consistency with the respect to all the judges there, but. Um, other than that, if there's anything that the court would want to request, I, I would just defer to that. 
Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McDuffie. I appreciate your comments. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Lebo, anything you want to say? Your Honor, I do agree that Mr. Brooks is not on probation at the moment, so I'm not sure if he can be sanctioned for a probation violation. Obviously, he displayed some very poor judgment in attempting to remove the tether himself. I don't quite understand why he believed that was appropriate. I do believe he's already been penalized for this by his in, by his uh, brief incarceration after the tamper event. In addition to the fact that I'm sure that he's going to be charged for any uh, charge monetarily for any damage that occurred to the tether. So, although it's not a, a violation of the court's um, probation, it is a bond violation. It was an order of the court that he remain on that particular tether, and he remains on that until he goes to get that taken off at the community corrections. So, he violated a court's order. Absolutely. In essence, um, what I will do at this time, sir, is order that you serve one day in the Washtenaw County Jail. Credit for the one day, sir. And it is an order that you must pay any fines or fees related to the cutting of the tether. As far as your original sentence was concerned, I was going to just allow that to be um, the sentence and not have much follow up regarding it, but I'm going to schedule a review to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. If you haven't done that, sir, then you can go on probation. Do you understand that? I understand. The review in this case will be in uh, 60 days on March 21st, 2024 at 10 o'clock a.m. Do you have any questions about what you need to do, sir? I know I don't. See you back here on March 21st at 10 a.m. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Honor.